What's up team, Matt here. We've got an upper body stretch coming your way. For this workout, we're gonna need a set of dumbbells. Now, I'm gonna leave that up to you. I'm using a medium to heavier set here, but if you have some options, grab them all. Options are a good thing. So once you grab those weights, I'm gonna meet you right back here on your mat. Team, we're gonna get after it. Upper body workout here. Have your dumbbells on the side. We're gonna start off with a warm up. Now, upper body workout, low impact. You're gonna be like, why are we starting off with jumping jacks? Because I'm all about getting the heart rate up and getting the body warm. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We'll start off with some jumping jacks, 30 seconds, and then we'll focus on opening up our chest, our shoulders, arms, everything. So when you're ready, starting off jumping jacks, 30 seconds. We're going in three, two, one, and let's go. So round one on these jumping jacks, arms are coming all the way over our head, soft bend in our knees, knees are tracking the toes, all right? So that jump's not for you, take that low option. We have a step jack again. The focus here is more about warming up our shoulders and getting that heart rate up. So all we're doing, again, this is not a downgrade, it's just a lower option if you're not taking that jump. 10 more seconds here. Again, arms coming all the way overhead. We're gonna walk it out to a high plank. So when you're ready, take it to your back of your mat. You're walking out in three, two, one, high plank. We drop it down onto our chest. Right arm comes out. Left leg kicks up and over for a scorpion. In three, two, one, join me if you haven't already. And then opposite side. So one thing we wanna think about on a scorpion is our hand placement when we reach out. It should be just above the shoulder. We should feel a nice deep stretch in our bicep, our chest, our shoulders. That's it, good. We're gonna come back up, high plank position. Five more seconds. Let's get one more scorpion in four, three, two, and one high plank. Shoulders are over our wrists, feet are wide, thighs and glutes are tight. We're taking our left hand, tap our right shoulder. Right back down, right hand, left shoulder. So we have a shoulder tap. If that's too much, always drop it down to the knees. That's fine, decrease the load. But again, we're focusing on not rocking side to side, keeping the hips nice and stable. Now I want you to think, when you lift one hand, that hip is gonna rotate. Think about closing that hip towards the floor, keeping those obliques fired up, thighs are tight. Good, we're gonna stand it back up, jumping jacks in four. Joining me in three, two, and one, let's go. All right, so you may be like, dude, I thought this was an upper body workout. My heart rate's starting to build. What's going on? Team, I'm a firm believer, no matter what you're doing, no matter what the workout is, you must get that heart rate up. You wanna be prepared for all levels because even though it's a strength workout, maybe come a little bit cardio conditioning, all right? That might be a secret that I just threw at you. If you picked it up, great. If not, you're in for something. We're taking it back down, scorpions, in three, two, and one. Let's go. So arm out. Big kick up and over. Feel the stretch, not only in the hip, but the upper body. It's a great exercise. Full body mobility. And we just hold for about two to three seconds each side, alternating. I enjoy this exercise because you're laying down. Who doesn't like working out when they're laying down? Five seconds, back to that high plank. Get ready, on that shoulder tap in four, three, two, one, let's go. Now, this shoulder tap, all we're gonna do is start to move a little bit quicker or tap faster, all right? As we push one hand harder into the ground, tapping that off shoulder, we replace nice and slow and repeat. But big focus here is pushing the ground away from the body, right? That's what's gonna keep us stable here. So press into the floor as you tap. Five more seconds, we're going to the top. Jumping jacks in four, in three, in two, and one. Last round, let's go. All right, so shoulders, arms starting to open up, starting to activate a little bit. Heart rate's coming up just a tad. Final round here, we're gonna hit those scorpions one last time. You got about 10 seconds of that jumping jack team, so just keep it moving. Again, low option, step jack, but honestly, this will be just fine. We're looking to open up that shoulder girdle. So here we go, scorpions last time in four, three, two, and one, back on the floor, let's go. So we kick up and over, quick stretch. Again, this could be very dynamic, very static, but right now we want it to be dynamic. So rolling over, one, two, and switch. Good, breathe. Almost there. Let's get one more, you got about 10 seconds, and then we're gonna hit that shoulder tap for our final 30. 
I'm going to show you some upper body movements. That's going to be a little bit spicy. I'll tell you that right now. Here we go. Back to that high plank in three, two, one. Shoulder taps, final 30. Let's go. Now, this shoulder tap, I want you to really focus on keeping your hips and shoulders in line. As you lift one hand, focus on those hips because it's going to translate right into one of the movements called a renegade row we're going to do today. And again, it's going to force our hips to rotate. We want to fight that rotation, right? The anti-rotation focus is what we're looking at. We've got about five seconds here. Four, three, two, one, and time. All right, team. That's off the board. Grab your dumbbells, have them by the side. We're going to start off with a set of unsupported rows. So I'm going to demo our movements real quick. And then I'll coach you through them as we go. So first things first, left foot's forward, right leg back, nice long spine, shoulders over, toes, dumbbells by our side, all right? So we're going to come up. We're going to go one, two, up and squeeze. Control down. One, two, up and squeeze. From there, we're going to go right down to the ground. We're going to have a push-up to a renegade row. So we'll have a small 10-second transition. We'll get right into a push-up renegade row. So push-up position over your dumbbells is going to be a deficit, so we're looking to create depth in the range of our, our push-up, coming all the way down, shoulders go forward, elbows back, pressing all the way up, and then we row, whoa, okay, <laughs> and back down, and then row on the other side, and then last but not least, we go to a dead bug, which I'll show you when we get there, but all we're going to do is lay on our back, and we'll go on from there, all right? So first things first, grab your dumbbells, come to a standing position, we have 10 seconds, Let's get ready to rock out. Standing up nice and tall. Shoulder blades are back and down. Take that right leg, big step back. We got those bent over rows in three, two, one. Let's go. So one thing I want you to really think about and notice is your feet, how wide they are. Keep them about shoulder width apart. That'll keep us nice and balanced. Hinge at the hip, weights over that front leg. We're rowing for one, two, up and squeeze for three, and release. As a team. So a couple things I want you to think about the row. I want you to think about their strings on the back of your elbow. And someone standing behind you, legit standing behind you, pulling their strings up. What that's going to do is create this vertical forearm. That's what we want. We don't want to pull the dumbbell in. We don't want to pull it back. We're thinking about just pulling your elbows straight back. And that's all you're doing. At the top, we're squeezing nice and tight. Two, three. Weights through that front heel. That glute hamstring is lighting up. You got about five seconds here in four, three, two, one, and rest. Dumbbells going down the ground. Now we got that push up, renegade row team. So let's get into that high plank. Again, if you need, you can drop to your knees for your push up, but we're going in three, two, one. Big deep breath in, getting nice and tight as we come to the bottom. We explode up and then we row right. Good. Right back down, explode up, row left. Now, just like we did on that shoulder tap, we're focusing on not rocking the hip. When we pull that dumbbell up, what's going to happen is that hip is going to rotate away. We're going to push back. We want to keep the hips forward and down, feeling that lower abdomen. If you need, you can drop to the knees. That's totally fine. Got about 20 more seconds here, but we're just focusing on that upper body and that core. Here we go. A couple more. You got five, four, three, two, and rest. So your dumbbells, I'm gonna slide them off to the side real quick. You can put them on either side of your mat so they're there for that next round. We're gonna lay it out on our back. All right, so laying flat on the ground, arms and knees come together. So bring your knees towards your elbows in three, two, one. We drive them into each other. Now, dead bug. The harder you push your elbows and your knees into each other, the more effective this is gonna be. If you're just sitting here holding, letting your heels drop, might as well just take a water break now, all right? So really pull those elbows in, pick those knees up. We're gonna extend our right arm, right leg, pull it back in. Team, you're gonna see this movement a lot. It's a very effective movement, one of my favorite. Good, nice long reach out, driving that heel, reach that arm back, pulling it in, and switching. On this dead bug team, I want you nice and controlled. Don't rush it, don't force it. Find the depth that's gonna allow you to keep your lower back flat. The harder you push your elbow and knee in, the tighter we're gonna be. So really think about that when we extend. You got four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, team, that's round one. We're going right back to the top. Now, only difference here, 
your left leg or your right leg, whichever leg you had back the first time, you're gonna put it forward, right? For me, that'll be my right, so let's grab our dumbbells. We're going right back to that bent over row. Take that big step back. You're going in three, two, one, and let's row. So nice long spine, chin tuck. We come up for one, two, up and squeeze and release. Good, one, two, three. So all we're doing here is focusing on changing the stimulus. We have two dynamic rows, and then we have more of an isometric squeeze at the top. You're gonna notice that that's gonna start to burn out the muscle a little bit different here, right? You may be able to get a ton of rows without it, but right now, we're gonna add like this little pause. You're gonna burn out the muscle. It's gonna feel a little different. Let's get one more set here. You got five, four, three, two, one, and dumbbells down. Dropping it down back, push up, renegade row, 10 seconds. Now, I want you to pick a number of push ups. Maybe you got five, maybe you got six, maybe you got 10 in mind. That's the number I want you to attack here, all right? So back to your push ups. Let's get it. Here we go in five, four, in three, two, one. Let's go. Big deep push up, exploding up. We row, control back down. Each time, team, I want you to get lower and lower. I want you to get to that point where when you're at the bottom, you're like, oh, am I going to be able to come back up? That's a good point. I always say if you get a little rep where you can't get out of, that's strength right there. That's what we're building. That struggle, that stimulus is going to grow us stronger. So thinking about getting to those low levels where you almost second get yourself of coming out of them. we got about 15 seconds. Let's get a couple more here. Good. Nice controlled. We're going back to that dead bug after this. So we'll be on our backs. Let's get four in three, two, one, and time. Dumbbells off to the side, right back onto your back. Dead bug. Now, this time all I want you to do, extend that off leg a little longer, hold it a little bit tighter at the bottom. Ready? Three, two, one. Elbows and knees driven in, and big reach. Now, you're probably now starting to wonder, why is this called a dead bug? This doesn't make any sense. The original dead bug, a little different than this, but this dead bug, because we're pushing our elbows into our knees so much, so hard, right? We're actively forcing that elbow and knee together. When you get done, it should look like a dead bug. That's the whole point of the exercise, right? So put that effort, put the force behind it. Got about 10 seconds here. Woo, shaking right now. Let's go. We got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Team, right back on your feet. Round three. We don't stop, we don't ever stop. We just keep it moving because we want to be efficient here. Short amount of time, we have to be effective. We're gonna get that work capacity and the heart rate's gonna get up, but also we're not gonna give the muscles time to rest. We're gonna force it to get stronger. So let's get back into that row. Same thing in three, two, one, last row. Here it is, one, two, big squeeze, big squeeze. Good, think about pulling those elbows straight back. That off leg could be nice and long, that chin is tucked, nothing's moving but our arms here. That's it, good. Almost there now. Keep pulling, keep pulling. The point of where we can't pull back anymore is the point we wanna to get to, team. You got about 10 seconds. Give me two more rows. Go for the third rep, but we're right there. You got five, in four, three, two, one. Drop the weights. We're going to that push-up. Last set, best set. Push-up game is gonna be strong after this. I can tell you that. Let's get it. As low as you can get, the most explosive out of the bottom. 40 seconds here, we're going in three, two, one. Let's go. Right back down, right up. Now, as we get tired, it's gonna be a lot easier to shake the hips, rock side to side. So if you need, take a second, re-engage our muscles at the top. As we pull, we control back, right down. We don't wanna punch the floor, team. Control the dumbbells. If there's anything you focus on here, it's the control of the dumbbell. If we're punching our floor, our neighbors, our beautiful floor. We don't want to chip. We don't want to do any damage here, right? Control that body. You got 10 seconds. Let's go. Right back into it. Five, in four, in three, two, one, and rest. Dumbbells off to the side. Last set of dead bugs. One and done here, and then we move on. Then we move on. Here we go. Right back to it. In three, two, one, let's go, dead bugs. So big reach out, let's pause for a second. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Tuck the rib cage down, pull the knee back in, and switch. That's it team, that's it. Reach that arm back, extend that leg, get your body 
to a point of where you're really exposed. We're open, but we're also controlled. We're tight. All right, you got 20 seconds here. Drive that elbow and knee together. Keep saying it. I don't want you to forget. It's going to be very easy to take this round off. Very easy to just hold right here. But I want you to be active, and I don't want you to forget it because I want you to get the most out of what we're doing here. Good. We got five. In three, two, and one. Woo, team, shake it out. Come to the half kneeling position, whatever you got to do. We got a new set of rows, all right? A lot of rows today. Why? Because a lot of people focus on the anterior of our body or pushing, pressing. Not too many people row, and I'm all about the posterior. Bigger, stronger posterior, the better, right? So build the backside, front side will grow too, all right? So what's it going to look like? We have a seesaw row, more core focused, all right? Like what I was talking about, the anti-rotation in that renegade row. Let's come. You can join me. Stand up nice and tall. Shoulder blades are back and down. We're going to hinge at the hip, all right? In three, two, one. Soft bend in the knee. We're hinging at the hip. Long spine. We're going to begin this interval right now. So 30 seconds. We're going to row our right arm up. Control down. Left arm's going to come up. And repeat. So just like a seesaw. One side goes up. Other side goes down. One side comes up. Other side goes down. And we just keep it moving nice, slow, and controlled, all right? So as one dumbbell passes, the other one's pulling up. I don't want you to stop at the bottom and row and drop row. No. We're working at the same time, focusing on our body, our midline, not rotating, right? We don't want to do this. None of this. You got five more seconds here. Keep it up. Four, three, two, one, and rest. We're going to come down to a kneeling position now. Double kneeling. All right, so we have a curl to press. Again, overhead. Now, things we want to think about. Glutes tight, rib cage tucked. We're locked in here. Elbows are in. So meet me in that tall kneeling position. We're going curl to overhead press. 30 seconds here. We're just going to keep it moving. Ready? Three, two, one. Shoulder blades back. Core is tight, rib cage tucked in. We're going to curl and press. All right, so overhead, biceps by the ear. We're not arching. We're not leaning back. If you lean back, sit your hips on your heels and return right back down. So this is going to do is allow us to press overhead without any limitations. Good. 10 seconds here. Curl and press. Last set here in five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Now, one of my favorite movements we're going to go into, a plank pull through. All right. So forearm plank. Been through forearm plank hundreds of times. You don't know the drill on that. Now the difference is we're going to slide this dumbbell across our body. All right, so let's all go down. Ten seconds here, forearm playing position. Let's get this dumbbell right under that right elbow, all right, or that left elbow, whichever one is on the side, feet are wide. We're going in three, two, one. We're going to take our right hand or our left, reach under, grab that dumbbell, slide it across, put that hand down, and then repeat. All right, again, pushing your elbows into the floor. Rib cage is tucked. We're nice and tight. Thighs braced, and we're just sliding the dumbbell, taking it and replacing it to the other side. All right, good. You got about 15 seconds here. Again, the whole goal is not allowing those hips to rock and rotate. If we can keep it tight, we can keep it right, we're going to get more out of it. So slow it down. Focus on your position. You got about 10 seconds here. If you need, you can just hold a plank. You got five, four, three, two, and rest. Woo, team. It's getting us going. That's round one. We're back on our feet. Round two, seesaw rows. Again, think of a seesaw. One, two, one, two, all right? Here we go. In three, two, one, let's go. Soft bend in those knees. We hinge at the hip. We come up, down, up, down. One after another, nice and controlled. And again, we're just thinking about keeping our hips and shoulders in line. Big core focus here, almost more core focus than our back. That's it, less than 15 now. Good, it's a push and a pull, push and a pull. You got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, go back down, kneeling, curl to press, the same thing, nothing changes. Get ready for it. I'm going to go from my side angle here so you can really see what we're doing with our elbows and my position. So when you're ready, nice and tall, three, two, one, shoulder blades are back, elbows tucked in. We're going to curl and then punch overhead. Again, look at this straight line I have from my knuckles to my knees. Control down, 
Let that elbow come tight to the body. Big punch. And right back to the floor, right? Again, elbows are tucked in. We keep them slightly forward. Punching straight up. And then controlling back down. We got 10 seconds here. Let's get maybe two, maybe three more. That's it. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, plank pull through. Y'all know what we're doing now, right? Right back down, plank position. Now, this is where I want you to think putting a block, a shoe, something on your back, keeping from our hips from rocking, all right? The reason being is if the block falls off our back, that means our hips are not stable, so I need you to focus on staying tighter. Let's get to this plank in three, two, one, let's go. So reach under, again, big pull through. A little bit of a wider base, it's gonna keep you a little bit tighter, a little more controlled. That's fine. If the pull through becomes too much, you're right here. You're in that plank. Good, last 15 now. We got one more round of this. Keep it up, keep it up. Keep those hips tucked down. The glutes are rotated under. You got five, four, three, two, and one. All right, team, last round, last but not least. We have that seesaw row. One more time, 30 seconds. Let's get on our feet. Whoo! It don't stop. Let's go. Three, two, and one. Shoulder blades are retracted, hinging at that hip nice and long. And we're rowing, 30 seconds. So one thing I want you to think about, do not look at, me, look at me on the screen. Keep that chin tucked. You should be looking at the floor right in front of you, just about a foot in front of your feet. That's it, good. Let's go, let's go. About 10 more seconds. Fight that rotation, abs are on. There it is in five, four, three, two, and one. Drop it back down. Kneeling curl to press, round three. We're almost there, team, almost there. We get a little bit of a break, and then we got max effort intervals. I can't wait for that. Here we go. Standing up nice and tall, or kneeling up nice and tall in three, two, one. Let's go, elbows tucked. We curl and press. Control down, control back to starting position. That's it, right up, looking straight ahead. Maybe we can get a couple more reps on this round. Good, last five seconds here, give me two more. It's okay if you work into that rest. You got four, in three, in two, one, and time. Woo, all right, dumbbell off the side, pull through, last time on this pull through. Final set, 30 seconds, in three, in two, and one, let's go. Now I want you to squeeze your thighs tighter. Brace the core, don't rock, don't rock, don't rock. Each time we're focusing on getting in a tighter position, a more of a controlled, stronger position. Almost there, 10 seconds now, 10 seconds. Good, five, four, three, two, and one. Wow, team, just like that, we're moving on. We're going into that third set now. Should be feeling good. Upper body should be feeling a little fatigued. Your arms, a little bit of a gummy, gummy feeling. That's all right, that's all right. So we got three movements coming up. We have a high plank, plank up, a wide row, and then my personal, personal favorite ab exercise, alternating jackknife. So. We've got 30 seconds, we're gonna go right into this. You're just gonna follow me, all right? We'll have a little bit of a, of a transition. I'll pre cue before we get there, but let's go down high plank position. Let's find our strength, strong plank position, and we're gonna work this plank up. So high plank, all we're gonna do is come down to our elbows, back up to our hands, all right? Five seconds, you're gonna join me in four, three, two, one. Let's dive right in, here we go. Down, down, up. Up. So team, if you, if you haven't already noticed, which I really hope you have, this whole, this whole workout is focused on anti-rotation or not rocking the hips here. A lot of upper body strength is built through the core. That's exactly what we're doing. Good, you got about 10 seconds. We're gonna stand up, we're gonna grab our weights, we're gonna go back to that bent over row. This time our elbows are coming out to our side. All right, so you're gonna join me in about five seconds. You keep working, grab your dumbbells in four, standing it up in three, two, one, 
So back to head hinge, stop bending the knee, long spine. Now, palms are facing our knees, we're pulling up and out. Good, so if you take a look before you get into the movement at your screen real quick, take a note on my elbows, right? This row now, we did some close rows, now we're doing some wide rows. So I want your elbows to come out. So you're gonna join me in three, two, one, and let's go. 30 seconds here, big pull out again. Just like that close row we talked about, the forearm being vertical, we're pulling from the elbow. From the elbow to the wrist, it's just hanging, all right? We're thinking about driving from the back ends of our elbows, squeezing that upper back. Whew. 10 seconds, team. We're gonna put these weights off to the side. We're gonna lay on our back. Here we go. Joining me in five, in four, in three, two, one. Laying flat on your back, arms over your head. We're gonna big exhale. Right hand's gonna come up. Tap the left toe. Come down and repeat other side. You're joining in three, two, one, and let's get it. Here we go. So alternating jackknives, things to think about. More of an explosive, powerful core movement. It's a big exhale. <sighs> Inhale as we come down. All right, if this becomes too much, just bend the knee. That's totally fine, you can tap and drop. You got 10 seconds here, but this last movement is just about moving consistently over your 30 seconds. You got three, two, one, and rest. All right, back to the top now. Again, every 30 seconds, we wanna push that pace. We're looking for maximum reps here. So 10 seconds, we're going right back in. Very short rest in this transition here. Going right back to that plank up. This one is all about slow and controlled. We can move faster as time goes on. So let's get it. High plank position in three, two, one, let's go. So down, down, up, up. Again, controlling the body. I don't want you here. We're not rocking around, no. Let's save that for a Friday night, rocking those hips. Here, it's all about controlled. All about tension, under time, time under tension, whatever you wanna say when you're in it. Everything's happening, right? Here we go. 10 seconds now. You're gonna go back up, bent over wide rows. Focus on the upper back. We got four. Joining me in three, two, one. Grab your weights. Y'all already know the movement, so let's dive right back in. Big row out, and then control down. Good. Again, things to think about. Nice long spine, chin is tucked, shoulder blades are away from the ears as we row up and back. Almost there, team, almost. We're going to tap 30 second jackknife coming your way. Let's get two more rows here. You're gonna put your weights down. You got five, four, three, two, and jackknives. Let's go, join me on the floor. Right up, right back down. 30 seconds here, just keeping that body moving. Again, it's gonna be easy to pull back in this last set. And I always say it, don't give up because it's the last set. Yeah, we may be tired, we may be fatigued, but this last set is an opportunity to push just a little bit harder for a couple extra seconds, a couple extra reps. Your last 10 seconds are here in five. Well, in five more seconds, because that's 10. Longest five seconds of your life. Here we go, four, in three, in two, one, and rest, team. You can count, that was two. We got one more. Again, every rep counts, every second counts. I, a lot of times, will tell you how much time you have, and we won't do that time because you know what? It doesn't matter about the time. It just matters what you do in the time. So let's get back into that high plank. Get ready. Three, two, one, plank ups. Let's go. Right back down to it. Last set, your best set, your strongest set. Good, press that hand right through the floor. Remember, we're placing our elbow with our hand, driving through the ground, keeping those hips stable and low. Good, coming on to that final 15. Well, again, we're driving onto our feet from this plank. Let's get one more. We're gonna transition to the dumbbells in three, in two, and one. Grab your weights, wide rows to the finish before those jackknives is the last set. We're looking to get as many reps as possible. Big pullouts, big squeeze. Go to that failure point. Don't stop because you're tired. Stop because your arms can't come up anymore. Make that be a new challenge. Let's go. Oh man, that upper back should be on fire. Team, you got five, in four, in three, two, and one on our back, last 30 second jack knives to the finish. Final 30 seconds of your workout, did I mention? This is not a time to cut it. 
Let's push forward. Let's go. That's it, team. Good. Big reach for that toe. Down and up. You got 15 seconds left. Your last 15 seconds of this workout. Find that burn. Hold on to it. You can rest in a second. Good. Under 10. We got five. In four. Come on. Give me two more. In three, two, and one. Rest. Whoo, team. Come up to your feet. Come to a standing position. Give yourselves a hand. Awesome, awesome job. Way to go. That was a nice upper body set. Lots of core involved, but we didn't stop. We didn't pull back. We kept going, and that's what it's all about. So great job, and we'll see you in the next one.